Well, new tonight, neighbors in Fort Mill are frustrated as they try to get answers about a proposed solar power plant development in the city. South Carolina Bureau Chief Secura Speaks talked to one woman spearheading the charge to move the development elsewhere. It's been five months since the York County Council publicly discussed placing a Canadian based solar power plant here in Fort Mill and neighbors say they feel unheard after several attempts of trying to get more information from the council. They say the plant poses several health and environmental risks. We don't want to see a neighborhood go down because of uh, manufacturing of toxic chemicals and whatever else they're going to be using to to make these panels. But now, Allison Dealworth fears her quiet neighborhood may be threatened by a proposal to put a solar panel plant in their backyard. We've heard that they're going to be using 1.2 gallons, 1.2 million gallons of water a day. Um, from what we've heard, that that's the town of Tiga K, that's the amount of, they use 1 million gallons a day. We, are, we don't have very good water pressure here as it is. We want to know how that's going to affect all our houses here in, in the future, you know. The county's proposed agreement would bring at least 800 jobs with a $150 million investment in the county. Dilworth says their streets are already overburdened with traffic and a development with hundreds of jobs would be too much for their area. She and another woman created two petitions in opposition of the plant. Both have gained over 800 signatures. We are thinking about uh, renting some buses to go up when they have this meeting. Uh, hopefully we'll get at least five bus loads of people to come, if not more. And I told everybody, get out your hippie stuff and we're going to be protesting. <laughs> During the March 20th council meeting, leaders met in executive session to discuss contractual matters and receive legal advice on the project. Neighbors say they are preparing for a second reading in the September council meeting, but a county representative says there's no date set yet for another discussion. For now, reporting in Fort Mill, Shakir Speaks, Queen City News.